We have won. I, I we're on the, the the best streak this team has ever been on, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven consecutive competitive matches with a win, including three different matches in the Europa League, uh, two different matches in the Cup, and a whole bunch of league matches, including away to Sturm Graz and at home against Rapid Vienna. Massive results all over that with two away matches against Sturm Graz technically because one was in the cup we got it done in extra time wow! but we are on an absolute tear right now and so when I'm saying like I you know we had a little heartbreak with Austria at the end of the last stream but in terms of Floridsdorfer we are on a tear we have six matches left until we go into the winter break and if we win all six of those matches we're going into the winter break just about as as well as you could possibly go right we're obviously unbeaten in the league uh, we're a point clear of Salzburg with a match in hand. We are top of our Europa League group because of all the tomfoolery that goes on with the tiebreakers. We have already clinched qualification. If we beat Kobenhaven, uh, then we have clinched first place and go straight to the round of 16, which is exactly what we were hoping to do. Even though it looked unlikely after we drew Logano on the road, we then beat Kobenhaven 5-1 and beat Sulta Varagam by a goal uh, away and at home. We had to gut out a couple of results uh, against them. But we're playing exceptionally, exceptionally well, chat. And I'm really excited. Xanthan, and thank you for the 10 months. All of this is on top of the fact that Hector Hellman Zapata is missing the match today. Is missing the match today because he is absent without leave. The second consecutive match that he has decided to miss because he is absent without leave. Which, you know, great, thanks. One other thing that I feel like you just, you would wanna know is that the video project we're working on uh, today has to do with match plans. And so we do actually have a couple of match, oh my goodness. Right, we do have a couple of match plans that ideally we were going to save. We didn't. This is something we were working on as part of our project this morning. Higher defensive line. Uh, much higher line of engagements. Uh, close down much more, right? We're, we'll get stuck into the other part of this. So if we go down by a goal, that's what we're doing. If And the other one that I really thought was useful is if we go up by a goal is to bring it down to balanced, shorter passing. Um, press less often. Like if we go up by three goals, that's the other thing we wanted to add, right? Okay, so now we've got like, change this to just league, match plan. Cool. Everybody else is good. Next match only, here we go. Hello, YouTube. I'll let you guys say hi to YouTube, too. I really shouldn't hide you. Uh, the crowd, we're playing at home. We're playing at the Ernst Toppel Stadion. Expect nothing but a win from this match. Yes. Let's go up by three goals against Austria Vienna, please. Aliyu. Oh, there it is. That's Mate. It's easy. It's 1-0. And uh, that's just what the Dorfers do. We Dorf. <laughs> All right, we've got, a, we've got a live look at every defense trying, trying to stop Mate Balas. Take, take a look here. I said, we don't have the capacity. <laughs> There we go. That's a live look at every defense trying to stop Mate Balas. Live look. Valkvist. That's the first time I think I've ever seen a fullback on my team get in behind. What a pass. A lead to Balas. I mean. <laughs> they don't. They just don't have the capacity to stop Monte Bellas. And nobody does, really. They don't. Soden. Chestek. Bellas. Igor Soden. Oh my goodness. It's Axel Perez! And it's 3-0! Because Igor Soden just keeps this run going, pops it right into a beautiful space, and Axel Perez takes it out of the air so well, right? 
Don't tell me it didn't work. No. Oh, we need the match plans to work. We said it is any time, and that's four. We said it is any time, right? This isn't fair. This is definitely not fair. Is it more than three? I don't know. Balas has a hat trick, though, so... Do you manually activate the match plans? How? Our match plan is not working! We're, in, you know, in, like, loaning play... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Monte Balas! He's got four goals. He's got four goals in 31 minutes. Against Austria Vienna, this is not like this is a you know a mid-table team. Monte Ballas has four goals in 31 minutes. These are Erling Holland numbers. Oh, Ballas wasn't even making the run, Igor. He wasn't even making the run. Now, now Rusu was making the run. He just didn't feel like passing it. Shishtag. That's five. That's unbelievable. He's having like the best game I've ever seen. He scores on every single highlight. He has five goals in this first half. David Shestak with a beautifully weighted ball. He goes right through the legs. Shestak for Paulo Cesar, and we'll just swap those guys out. A little triple substitution for fitness. 20 minutes to go. That is Paulo Cesar. Okay, my penalty, by the way. Uh, penalty taker is Mate Balas today. Just happens to be Mate Balas. We want six. We want six. We want... We want six. As a match plan used? Well, it doesn't seem to have kicked on. So, not quite sure yet. We're working on it. That's part of the process of this stream. That's so disappointing. That is so bitterly disappointing that he did not score the penalty to give himself six goals in the match. It says it's 1080p, but it definitely is not. It's actually a conspiracy. I've partnered with Twitch to deceive you. Yeah, and finish 6-0. I mean, oh, fine. Complacency hits really hard. Winning breeds confidence. We'll back ourselves against anyone, and that definitely pads the goal difference as we move forward in the league season. We've got plus 31 in 14 matches. We are cooking with Octane right now. 19 months of bacon. Okay. Oh, cool. Oh, that's so... Okay. So I click use, and that's... Okay. We figured it out. Had a rough couple weeks with it. Hey, would you look at Hector Hellman Zapata? Look at who decided to show up today, huh? Look at who decided to show up today. Wouldn't you know it? It's the player that we're paying a bucket of money to play for us. No way. Don't even believe it. That's insane. Thank you so much, Hector Hellman Zapata, for freaking showing up to do your job today after skipping two matches and going to play for Colombia in the middle of skipping two matches and dodging training. Balas, oh, it's Aliu! Aliu popping up! Kuba! And it's unfortunate for Copenhagen, but Christian Kuba had an empty net to square that ball into. I think Vincent Company is uh, known that he is going to be a really good manager. And I think that's another sign that Burnley really do want to go right back up. Xander. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't even close. Oh, stay out of the goal. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Aliu Vanderhorst. Oh, we just gonna miss time to our runs there. Falkvist had received that ball. These guys had held their if they held their run a little longer, it would have really opened up for us. Zapata Kubo. Oh! I didn't expect that to get through. Good save, Victor. Way to get down. But no, Sci Sports is like an actual analytics company that football manager then hired to try and design an XG that works in the game 
which is different, obviously, than real life, because you're just assigning values to, like, different things that the match engine's producing. Oh! It's Axel Perez with the second goal, right as Copenhagen are starting to push. Zapata, who's been painfully average the entire game. Shashtag. Uh, Axel is somebody's open at some point. I mean, we just have more players than they do. <laughs> that, like, it's like five on three. Got a little flat footed on that. Yo! We are dominating in the air, though. No, that is so important. Ubala is Axel. It's Axel! What a save. I'm not still not getting many reports following the steps of the newest scouting video. I've watched a few times thinking I missed something. It's scouting be glitched. <laughs> scouting is not a fine tooth comb entirely. Like, it's very opaque, right? It is incredibly opaque why your scouts are doing certain things. Great road win for the boys. And Salt of Aragon beat Lugano, which means Salt of Aragon looks like the team that's going to be going through to the round of 32. What is this? What is going on? Hector Elman Zapata is absent for match day again. He just doesn't like playing on the weekend. I mean, it's a Sunday game and he's just like three match days. I mean, like, why is, why can I do nothing about this? Why can I do nothing about this other than just find him based off my pre-agreed code of conduct, right? Up the Dorfers. I can't even change the size of the fine without going to my code of conduct and changing that, right? I can't even do that. Find him more. If I change my code of conduct for the entire team, I'm going to have to clear that. But like the entire team. Criticize his conduct. I can't talk to him. I know. I've tried. We've gone through this process. I can't talk to him. I can't have other people on my team talk to him. And I can't adjust the fine amount unless I adjust the code of conduct for the entire team. Uh, he accepted his fine without comment. So previously he's accepted his fine and promised to do better I don't I, I just I don't know what his situation is I just hope Garcon gets fit so we've got a ball playing defender a ball playing defensive midfielder that we can use I think it's all going to be fine and blow over it's just a very annoying side effect to apparently him being mad about his playing time so he gets mad about his playing time and then acts out by doing this not Advari is made of I, I mean he's gelatinous I have no idea how it is possible. Pablo's hurt. God. I mean, David. With Linus Volkvist as a potential bench player, Henneman and Bala is not available as substitutes, and Rusu and David Sheshtak available as the strikers. Okay. We better take control of this game early. We better, we better, we better. Easy. You've only selected 10 outfield players. Good thing I was paying attention. Okay, so let's actually check the team, shall we? Leandro, San Rogel, Ogiaka, Zapata. <laughs> oh, we're playing against Marcus Arling. Is he starting? Yeah, there he is. There's our talented youth player on loan at St. Pilton. Nice. So that's fine. And Rusu really needs to put... He needs to be good today. Because three of our four forwards are not available for this match, which means David Sheshtak is starting at striker, which like he can do. Him and Axel Perez and Kim can all do it. Bring it back, Christian Kuba, yes. David Sheshtak on to Rusu, and it's onside, yes. Love an early goal in a game like this, where you're rotated and you're just kinda, eh. We could come out flat, we could not have the ability to break through, and then Sheshtak, excellent hold up and pass from David Sheshtak. It was. Oh, shouldn't. No, please. Please, Diggled. No. Oh, he's shooting.
A frozen rope into the corner from Axel Perez. Oh, there he is. Axel Perez. Oh, I thought that was in. I was sure that was in. I started to describe the goal. I was so sure that was in. How is Cuba already this tired? Did he pick up a knock or something? Sheshtak, the only option, so good idea to slow it down. Perez, Rusu, Sheshtak, slick ball! Oh, wow, terrible, terrible defending there. Terrible defending. What is this, guys? Vanderhorst and Manuel Oberschmied. I mean, we are here, right? Do we... <sighs> Vanderhorst thinks Oberschmied's taking it. Oberschmied thinks Vanderhorst is taking it. Now we've got Augustine Rodriguez just running into him, defending the exact same patch of grass. Marcus Arling, who we literally have a tight mark on. Like, okay, I don't know why he's decided to stick to the striker there when the most important player to tight mark is Marcus Arling. Because we know he's making that run. We know it. So this isn't even tight marking breaking the game. Let's go. Rigel. There you go. Sheshtek. Oh, he's offside too. He did everything wrong. That's great. Come on. Put this in the back of the net right here. Zani! The menace! Amadou Zani! Thank you, Amadou. Thank you, Augustine. And here we go. Cheshtak's a good dribbler. He's got a lot of space. Two on two. Oh, he draws the defender. The other defender's nowhere to be found. Rusu doesn't matter. Apparently Salzburg are losing, as you guys are saying, which would be, oh, well, we got Amadou Zadi, so this one's in the back of the net. Oh, no, it's Manuel. Oh, it's Sestak! The Slovakian international abroad! Axel Perez a little tired, so we'll do a uh, Paulo Cesar from the middle vibe. I've never done that before, so we'll see if he's able to show up in a highlight somewhere, or maybe we just score off another set piece. And I just again! Hey, David Shestak. Shestak scores two goals. He's sitting over there like he's still. Look, David is who he is. There's a reason he's on the team, right? There's a reason David Sheshtak's on the team and one of the highly influential players in the locker room and everything, right? Like, he's not bad. But he's annoying. Everything about him is annoying. Yeah, he just scores a bunch of goals. Um, the expectation within our team to just win every game we go into. Confidence is always a good thing to just drive on. Oh, my goodness. Salzburg couldn't hand, handle Sturmgratz away, which is a tough match, understandably. But we are separating, chat. This is the moment. Like, we are separating from Salzburg at the top of the league. Oh, wow. They took, the takeover's done. Wolfgang Sascher has successfully completed his takeover, replacing former president Thomas Wagenhofer. Uh, relishing the prospect. Personal message following the takeover. Okay, I want to thank you for your patience. This is from Wolfgang. Oh, look at Wolfgang. Oh, look at that stash, yo. Oh, Look at that stash! And now we'll have a meeting about... Yeah, he wants to work within the payroll budget. They're just, you know, showing me the... I'd like to give an update on the club's long-term vision. They want to challenge for the Bundesliga title in the 2031-32 season. I think we'll be doing just fine with that. Youth intake preview. Hey! Says an excellent youth intake. And yet our ratings are B, C, C, C. <laughs> What do we have, one good center back? To Mombites in France when that happened? That my dad took her on vacation for her birthday, I think it was. Big surprise vacation. Not I think it was. It was for her birthday. Sabata with a tweaked groin. Oh, no. Hector Hellman, what are you going to do? Go to the bar, perhaps? from the oh no we don't have to drop somebody because we need a deep lying uh midfielder we're just gonna make that carlos garcon welcome back to the lineup carlos 
Okay, opposition instructions. Oh my. Okay, they are they're sagging off us here. We're gonna work on Sunday Madu type mark, and we're gonna work on a Patrick Schmidt type mark and a Kai Stratsnig close down. <sighs> Expect nothing but a win from this match. Keep our run going. Sheshtak's apprehensive, so we're gonna take the pressure off today. Nadodvari. Oh. Thought he was gonna go with, like first time there. Kambalas! Oh. Nadodvari. There you go. Sheshtag. There we go. Rusu, Kim Yun Q. Right, if he's really good at going by you, back off. Make him shoot the ball over you. Give yourself more of an ability to stop that dribble. So I do do that from time to time. Like if they have a really good dribbler that I don't think is a great passer or scorer. Nice play. Nice play. I do it to Junior Adamu. I'll just not type mark Junior Adamu because he's not a good goal scorer. He's just really fast. I'll actively turn off type marking for him because if I want somebody to get a chance, I want it to be him. The Jernst Topol Stadion is just watching us absolutely dominate in the Austrian League. Oh, I don't like Con Kurt. I don't like Con Kurt. I don't like Con Kurt. That's why. I don't like Kahn, Kurt. We're there. Novais. Ooh, Balaz, what a touch! Oh my goodness, what a goal! What a goal! What a player! What a goal and what a player. Mate Balaz has taken over on this stream. Or Bjornsson, dude. What are we doing? What on earth is happening in this entire play? <laughs> we lose the ball. Torbjornsson has this dead to rights and it skips off his knee. And then Novaish decides that it's better for both of them to defend the other guy than pick up Baribo, who's just like every single wrong thing happened at the same time. That is what logic dictates. Sheshtak. Ooh, that's really good pass by David Shestak. And Rusu! Oh, baby! <laughs> Soaring through the air, Paul Rusu. Yeah, he blasted that. Linus Volkfus playing that firm 6.5. Kim, just go for it. But there we go, 3-1 against Wolfsberger. We survived a direct free kick goal against us. We continue to just absolutely cook in the league. Feels like there's a maturity in this team. Sapata didn't play today because he was injured, not because he skipped the match. That's an important distinction. That is, that is fun. Rusu, Balas, Kuba, Vanderhorst, Aliyu, Sapata. Soden, Oberschmied, Torbjörnsen, San Rogel, Victor Leandro. We are playing at home against Lugano. They are the worst team in the group, but they're also the only team that took points off us. We drew them 2-2 in Switzerland. And at the time, we were sitting there like, um, I believe those were the exact noises we were making. So I would like to uh, go get some revenge, go make us a million dollars by picking up a Europa League win. Aliyu. Rogel Ballas! Offside. Dang it. Come here. Come hither! Nice. Zapata read that like a book. Ballas, good turn. Unlocks it for Brusu, who took maybe the worst two touches in the history of the sport. Ballas, Rusu, that was better. That's better. That's better. That's much better. Those were better touches. He controlled the ball better that time. How has Henneman done this season? Saw you were saying he was bad. Okay, so I recorded that video like a week ago, right? Since then, Henneman has averaged about a goal a game. He's been really good. He's developing really explosively early in his career. 
So if it's an outswinging corner, you want your tallest person farther away from the post. Oh, is he on? He might be on. He is not on. He did not get back on side. That is a shame. Russo? Earth Earth to Paul Russo. Are we are we pivoting back towards the, the point here? I don't I don't know. Aliu, Russo. Ay ay. Oh, yeah, there we go, Paulie. Oh, Paul Roos. Oh, Paul Roos. Torbjörnsson, Zapata, Aliu, Russo, Rogel, Aliu, oh, Vanderhorst. And there it is, Owen Vanderhorst. That's that's got to be, you know, we're putting nails in the coffin right here. Owen oh, Vander, he's been a little cold recently, so it's nice he's able to pop up. A nearly an amazing save by Ricardo Velio, but it's nice he's able to pop up with a goal. There's always a plan B. What's that achievement? Use a pre-save match plan during a match. Oh, it kicked in. The match plan works! It works! Uh, let's check out potential substitutions. We got Christian Kuba. Why is Linus Volkvist in and when did he get subbed in? Why? Like, why is he? I'm not going to take off Balas now because I don't. I don't have any subs set up as part of my match plan, though. The 34th minute. That was before we were up 3-0. This is before the match plan kicked in, dude. They just subbed out my left back for no reason. For a guy that, like, can barely play left back in Linus Volkfist. Why? <laughs> Clean sheet for Leandro, just how he drew it up. I was so happy about match plans for a second, and now all of a sudden... I mean, there's nothing more dangerous than allowing something to make random substitutions for your team. He's taking the slight injuries, indicating he wants to come off. I think they literally just made the substitute. Yeah, they just, I, I think they're, either they just made it or they're just about to make it. Yeah, and then it just came through that that was the substitution we made. Okay, so that means that when a player gets injured, that player is going to be subbed off. Even if that I think is a glitch. I think I find that particularly annoying. Not not to mention the audio glitch that we are currently suffering from. Right? That we'll see if the you know the old trick fixes it. No. Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah, you know, I always say when you break a game, break the whole thing at once. They just, <laughs> they just blew the whistle on that? Dude, we had a two-on-one at the halfway line. Dude, we were we were in on goal, and he was like, nah, fam. Uh nah, we're good. You gotta stay focused. Nice win. 16 points of possible 18. Salt of Aragon. I was able to pull out the draw. Oh, an 88th minute goal. An 88th minute goal for Zolta Faragum to cinch a draw with Copenhagen and send themselves through to the Europa League knockout stage. Big moments for the Belgians. Uh, Sjodin was actually, I mean, it said he was fine. Wicked, I mean, wicked nasty match there.